After a setback for President William Ruto's government, the courts have issued stay orders on the implementation of the Finance Act 2023. These orders were granted yesterday after Busia Senator moved to court, citing the unconstitutionality of the bill. On Friday, the court granted the stay orders effectively putting a halt on the implementation of the Finance Act until further notice. The decision deals a major blow to the government's development agenda, as the act was expected to be a key driver of economic growth and public projects. The order was issued after Busia Senator Kiyom Tata went to court stating the act was an illegality. So, uh, looking at the orders that were issued by Justice uh, Mugure Dande, uh, it means that uh, the act is now suspended, start suspe suspended. That means now uh, what is in place right now is the Finance Act of 2022. Finance, Finance Act 2023 is not uh, operational and uh, also it has been suspended. That, is, that was the first order. The second, the second order, that is uh, the prayer number two that was also allowed, was that uh, the government is prohibited from enforcing the act until the matter is given further directions, which will be, I believe, on uh, the 5th of July. In his case, the senator argued that the 2023 Finance Act was passed without following the procedure set out in the Constitution. According to the court's decision, the order to suspend the implementation of the law will remain in effect until a final decision is made on the matter. As other organizations begin to enforce the law, the issue of violation of court orders emerges. The orders were to the effect that the entire act is start suspended. That means now if there's any implementation that probably any steps that had been taken before the order was issued, then that means uh, that the, what April needed to do was to recall that uh, uh, maybe um, um, not that, that, that uh, um, proposal to, 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 or to enforce the act. Uh, in terms of uh, fuel levy. Now that means if they had been um, served the order or if the, uh, the petitioner can prove that they had been served with that order and then they went ahead to, uh, to go, they went against the order or they defied the order, then I, I believe you know, what the petitioner needs, needs, needs to do is to um, institute a contempt of court. Kenyans are however bound to face a tough times ahead as Matatu owners hike bus fares. Kama serikali naweza angalia kazi hii yetu ya mafuta at least hawa watu wanasafiri ndio wanatupea chakula. Sasa tugeomba serikali at least ituangalie hii hali ya mafuta at least iache kupandisha hii mafuta namna hiyo. Magari yetu 7 air inakunywa eh, inaendaga 7 kilometers per liter. So hiyo mahesabu tunafanya na tunaielewa vizuri. Kwa hivyo ile kitu tutaongeza ni ile kitu ya kumaintain biashara sio kitu ambaye itakuwa ni kitu ambaye itafinya uh, customers wetu sisi ya truck kuwafinya kwa hivyo sisi tunaona leo tutaongeza kitu kidogo ambaye haitafinya mwanai The National Assembly passed the bill last month giving the president the opportunity to sign it into law The legislative arm of the government that is the parliament its role mandate role primary mandate is to make laws or to uh, legislate that means if they legislate and the court realizes that there was an issue with either procedural or substantive that has an impact on the law that I have already made the court has a duty to annul such a law or to declare such a law annullity so the court will make a final decision by july 5th when the government is lagging behind in implementing its objectives